Hey everyone, I'm Richard, here with some more impressions about PlayStation 4 Pro. Thus far, I've been rather impressed with what the machine has been capable of, but as more detailed testing has carried on behind the scenes here at the Digital Foundry office, there has been one aspect of system performance that is causing us some concern. And that's the fact that some games, and I'll stress that it's a minority, well, they are running at lower frame rates than the base PlayStation 4. Now, in theory at least, this just shouldn't be allowed to happen. Leaked documents from Sony that we saw many months ago detail technical requirements that demand that PlayStation 4 Pro games run at the same frame rate or better than the base PS4 version of the same title. And while the majority of games do adhere to this requirement, some, well, some don't. A few weeks back, we showed that Mantis Burn Racing had some minor fluctuations at its native 4K Pro mode that aren't there on the base PlayStation 4 version, running at 1080p with 2x MSAA. Now, Vufu Studios told me that they're working on fixing this, but it's actually The Last of Us Remastered that is more of a concern right now. Now, we were playing this in HDR on a 58-inch 4K display, and we were genuinely blown away by it. The 30 FPS mode runs at native res and doesn't miss a beat, and the HDR is just epic. But the 60 FPS mode? Well, rendering there drops to 1800p, which is fair enough, but the point is that as Tom discovered in his recent analysis, sustained drops beneath 60 FPS on base PS4 hardware are actually worse on the Pro. On top of that, areas where the standard console runs locked at 60 FPS can see performance drops on the Pro. Okay, so here's the thing. A 2 to 5 FPS deficit. Now, we weren't too upset by that playing on a 4K HDR screen because the upgrade is generally huge. And the trade, well, you could say that it's relatively small. But if you're running the game on a 1080p screen, the advantages are nowhere near as pronounced. It's the same 4K frame buffer downscaled to 1080p for improved anti-aliasing. But personally, I can't really justify a performance hit for fancier anti-aliasing. As a 1080p user, I want an uncompromised, locked 60 frames per second, even if it means downscaling from a lower resolution than 1800p, or no downscaling at all. Now, testing is still ongoing, and I'll stress again that many titles are indeed handing in improved image quality for 1080p users with no ill effects at all. Titanfall 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered are showing much higher resolutions and image quality, and both titles actually have a more consistent 60fps lock too. Infinite Warfare is looking great at 4K as well, and we're also seeing enhanced performance and more visual features in Battlefield 1. FIFA 17, native 4K and a lock 60fps during gameplay? That'll do nicely. Now, we'll continue to report on more titles as soon as we test them out. And yeah, some titles that exhibit the lower FPS issue only do so fleetingly. In the PS4 Pro review, I mentioned that Skyrim on Pro has a native 4K resolution and identical frame rate to the base PS4 version. And for the vast majority of gameplay, it does, but we did find a selection of scenes heavy on alpha transparency effects where Pro can take a hit. Again, on a 4K screen, I'd take the consistently higher native resolution over some small drops to performance. But again, for 1080p users, they're getting a hit to game fluidity for improved anti-aliasing that isn't massively better than the standard game. But the point is that according to Sony's guidelines for developers, we shouldn't be seeing lower frame rates at all on Pro hardware. Now, at the PlayStation meeting, Deus Ex Mankind Divided Performance was looking a little shaky too, so I decided to take a quick look at that one myself earlier. The profile of this game is interesting. Basically, on base hardware, missions play out at 30 FPS or very close to it, while hub levels can see some performance drops. The Pro version seems to offer more consistent performance on the latter, as you can see here in this performance head-to-head. -head. But if we go back to the first mission, this alpha-heavy scene is causing big, big problems for the Pro, whereas the base PS4 is coping pretty well, actually. So, for this game at least, Pro is both better and worse than the standard PS4 here. But come on, 20 frames per second? This should not be an acceptable Pro experience. Now in the Pro review, I was also impressed with Rise of the Tomb Raider, but the more we've played through the game, the more issues seem to be arising. Okay, so this is the village stage, one of the most demanding in the game. On base PS4, we get a locked 1080p30 with consistent frame pacing. 
On Pro, well, the 4K mode drops a few frames here and there, and while the enhanced visual preset does deliver 30 FPS, frame pacing isn't right, causing unwelcome judder. The unlocked mode is obviously working as intended, but consistency isn't maintained. That's the nature of the mode. Now, it's still a beautiful game, but right now it needs further tweaks. Only the base PS4 is actually offering a locked, consistent 1080p 30 experience. But here's the thing. We really shouldn't be having this discussion at all. PlayStation 4 Pro is the supercharged console and the standard PS4 is referred to internally as base hardware. Base hardware. That means that the older console offers the baseline experience and Pro needs to build on it without compromise. And that's why the technical requirement is in the Sony documents to begin with. Higher resolution can't come with any form of compromise to performance. Frame rate is tied closely to the quality of the gameplay experience. I mean, that's why we measure it and that's why we show it to you. Now this is a launch period of course and we should expect to see hiccups on some titles. But I hope that by bringing this issue out into the open, something can be done about it. Right, well, do let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll catch you very soon. But for now, thanks for watching.